Literally an hour ago, I pulled Wing Dragon Raw. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. And I guess by the time you watch this video, it might have been like a day or a couple days. I don't really know. But timeline wise, I pulled Raw, edited it, uploaded the video, walked away. My mail came, and all my King's Cord boxes just arrived. And by the way, I thought I had six. Looks like I only ordered four. So yeah. Let's see what happens. We'll put these to the side, and hopefully these are the chosen ones. I'm going to assume this came from the same case. So if I pull something uh, fire in this in regards to it being, you know, one of three god cards, there's probably no real reason. Well, I guess I can get the, the collector rares in the other two boxes. Something like that, right? I don't know what the pull rate is for the actual collector rares within the case. I assume it's like a couple. But I do know that I've seen boxes get opened and people don't even get a collector rare inside these. So we'll see what happens. But yeah. Here we go. You know what? I'm gonna start with the left stack this time because the left stack is actually where I got the Wing Dragon of Raw. And honestly, I just I, I just want to pull another God card. <laughs> I got the bug. This is what happens. This is this is how TCG gets you. You get the bug. You you get the uh, the serotonin that fills your brain from pulling that fire card. And next thing you know, you're spending so much money and time trying to find another God card. And then, and then it doesn't ever happen again. Then you're just sitting there thinking like, why did I do this? Why have I come? Why did I do this? <laughs> it's part of the game. But as I mentioned in my first video, I'm not going to go too crazy for this. And I know I've said it before, but I um, I have been doing pretty well cutting myself off, you know, from spending a lot on cards. Because um, the thing about sets like this is, is there's really not that much fun stuff to open or pull. Um, once you get the collector rare, you're kind of done with it. And to pull... The god cards which are like one in 12 boxes is like the, the rarity like the chances to pull them is so low that it makes me not want to chase it it's like chasing starlights once you do it once it's great you know me pulling um it's kind of funny because i pulled both 10,000 dragon and utopia somehow and i i managed to do that minimally actually i mean i think i opened like i want to say 12 boxes total but still opening 12 boxes and getting both Utopia and 10,000 Dragon, I still consider incredibly lucky. So I don't want to like, keep testing my luck in that situation. But yeah. Okay. Wicked Avatar. So remember the key here is, is we need to get infinite cards. Infinite cards is going to be our good luck charm here. Bam. Um, okay. Uh, for a second, I thought that was a uh, collector rare. Infinite cards, when you pull that, is going to go right in the back. And that's going to be the good luck charm to pull a god card. Specifically, again, I want the Slifer the most. He's by far my number one pick. I mean, Obelisk, I wouldn't mind. He's definitely like my close second. Like, I, I like Slifer and Obelisk a lot. And then there's Wing Dragon Raw on the very, very bottom for me. Oh, that was the super rare. Um, yeah, so that, that's just how it is for me. It's, I like I like those two the most. And then, of course, I pull Raw. <laughs> I feel like that spoiled kid on Christmas who gets like the wrong color iPhone. I pull a God card, it being Raw. And don't get me wrong, I still like Raw. But I just like the other two that much more. I, I pull a God card, and I, of course, it happens to be Raw of all people. But... Dang it, still nothing. Okay. Now, as far as uh, the collector rares, the still the one I still want to get the most definitely has got to be Lightning Storm. Lightning Storm is available in collector rare. Or am I stupid? I feel like now I'm like <laughs> now I'm like second guessing myself. I know people mentioned that you could, but now I don't really know because I don't think I ever double checked before I start recording that video. Joker Starlight. Oh, that's an ultra. <laughs> it's an ultra rare. For a second, I thought it was actually a. Uh, a collector rare so I have to like double check because of how my setup is right now with my I'm looking through my camera and my lights are literally just like up there it's reflecting off my cards and it's kind of hard to see what I'm looking at like I know obviously what card I'm looking at but like the, the rarity and stuff that's why I gotta kind of get close to make sure I'm looking at what I'm looking at all right you speaking of utopia infinite cards and then we got a super rare I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna try it but infinite cards is going to sit in the back there you go Infinite cards. I remember running as a kid. I had I had a GBI. It's funny. I still have that GBI slifer. But as a kid, I had a GBI slifer and an obelisk. When I got rid of my cards as a kid, the only two cards that survived were those two. I still have them to this day. I got them graded. I think one came out like a PSA five, and the other came out like a PSA six. That's that's. <laughs> I played with those cards, and I remember I ran slifer even though it didn't have an effect. But I played with my friends. Um, and of course, I always have to run infinite cards along with them so I can get, just get infinite damage. And we definitely, we definitely were those kind of kids that didn't know how to play correctly, because we, <laughs> we were like, we the rules that we have for our god cards were you can't use spell, trap, or effects on them. So we literally just, our, our, like our god cards were just broken. 
And the only reason why we did that is because, number one, it didn't have the actual effects written on the card. And we just kind of went off what happened on the show. But two, really mostly just on the show. Because on the show, every single time a spell or trap card was activated, it was always like, oh, it's a god card. It's not affected by it. Biggest lie of my childhood. Watch this. Uh, just a white rose cloister. The card felt kind of weird. Not like in a way it's like like a fake weird, but like the, the side of it felt kind of like, like it was damaged. I had to kind of get up close to it. But yeah, and I know I'm not the only one. I know some of, some of us growing up definitely played the wrong way, incorrectly. And if that's you, feel free to share your stories down below with infinite cards. You know what to do. Once you get three infinite cards, a god card will show up. Oh, okay. That's just another super rare. Again, it's so hard to see. I need to fix my setup before I get into the next box so I can actually see better. This entire video is going to be me talking about how I can't see what rarity is in front of me. <laughs> okay, let's get into the next one. Rescue Rabbit, Arcana. We got Constellar, the Wicked Dreadroot, Wicked Eraser, Cold Nice Idol, and an XYZ Hyper Cannon, or an Xyz, however you want to pronounce it. I don't think in my last video anybody answered my question if, if this is supposed to be XYZ or X's, because I know growing up we always call it XYZ Dragon Cannon. Where was dead? And then when they actually release Exus, it's like, oh, it's pronounced Exus. It's like, oh. It says who? <laughs> I kind of just went along with it. Infinite cards. All right. The uh, requirements has been established. We have three infinite cards, which means that would have been really cool if that was Slifer right there. Especially Slifer of all people, just because Slifer, as you guys know, goes with infinite cards. All right. Next pack. Come on. It's hard to open for some reason. That means that this is clearly going to have a uh, Slifer. Ooh, another one? Let's see what we got. Give me the Red Dragon Boy. Right here. Just kidding, we're going to get a Magnet. We're going to get a stupid Magnet I pulled three times in a row in my original video. You know, it's funny. Like I feel like because I got lucky, and uh, in the box I got from Konami, I pulled the raw. In the boxes that I bought, I'm not going to get anything. I, just, I already know I'm going to get nothing out of these. Unfortunately. It is what it is. But... Doesn't mean we're not gonna try. I always like to say, anything you guys wanna do out there, yeah, gotta at least try it. Yeah, gotta at least try it. If you try and fail, and you're like, you just say it for me, at least you tried. But what you should never do is just not try at all. That's when you truly fail. Oh, that's the that's our next. Um, ooh, okay. It's an Xyz card. What does this do? When another monster's effect is activated, quick effect, you can detach one material monster, negate the activation, and if you destroy a monster. Yo, that's actually very good. Hello? What does that require? Two level four dinosaur monsters? That's a fantastic ultra, actually. Or, um, Xyz card. I would definitely use that if I ran a dinosaur deck. Okay. Also, I like how it's a dragon, but it's a dinosaur. Oh, no, it is a dragon. But it, you get it from dinosaurs? Okay, that's interesting. That's 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 a weird one for me. All right. Stardust, Arcana, Pendulum, Ties, Wicked, and Crystal Girl once again. Watch this box be so ass that we don't even get, like, a collector. You know what? Last time I said that is when I pulled the raw. Watch this. I'm expecting nothing in this pack right here. Like, nothing at all. Literally nothing. Nothing. And I got nothing. <laughs> it's funny. I expected nothing, and I still somehow got disappointed. All right. Next pack. Let's see what we got. Of course, I'm not looking forward to cleaning up afterwards, but it is what it is. It's part of the experience. Um... Slow down. Magnet induction again. Come on, bruh. So, we're not going to get Lightning Storm in here. Because it is two Ultras per box. But at least, it, it, it adds some specialty to the Ultras at least. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Although it sucks for people who play the game and you're just trying to get specific cards. But yeah. Oh, wait, what? Wait, hold, hold on. Wait, hold on. Excuse me. Wait a minute. We got... We got three. Wait, what? The, what? Does this mean we're not going to get like a collector or potentially Slifer? Because I thought I, 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 what? I thought it's only uh, two per box. Maybe it's two Ultras per box and then like the third one is either a collector or it's like potentially one of the God cards? I think, no, let's go to the back. We got Fortune Teller, okay. Let me kind of power through this a little bit fast. I want to get into the next box. Cause that's that's what I think what is what it is. We got Thunder Speed Summon and last one or last two. 
see what we got. Case card fusion, okay. Nothing here. Still, you already seen them. And finally, the last pack. I think that's what it is. That's probably what it is. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. So it looks like it is three ultras per box. And then if you happen to pull um, something special, then it could be either that special rarity. I, I, yeah, I, I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. I was under the presumption that, you know, from the couple videos that I've seen, that you can only get two um, ultras in a box. Right, we have another box. Throw this away. And I think for the sake of just time, we'll just kind of power through this. We'll go right to the back. Right to the back. Not as exciting. But hey, at least it'll save you some time so you guys can do whatever you want to do for the rest of the day. So no one wants to sit here and watch me just open up packs the whole time. Sniper! <laughs> Let's go! Oh man! Yo! Now I'm mad that I opened it like that! Yo! Oh my my fate! It's the infinite cards! It's the infinite card! I'm telling you! I am telling you! Oh, Roxanne is going to be mad at me. So will everybody else. Oh, that looks fantastic. That looks fan. Look how beautiful this card is, man. Look at that. Look at that. I am happy about that. Ooh! <laughs> but you know what we're going to do right away? Right away? Serious business. Serious business here. It's going right into the card saver. Right into the card saver. There you go. We're holding this is a small one. A bigger one, yeah. One of these, there you go. Go right into the card saver, and the second PSA opens, they're getting this bad boy. What is my luck today? What is my actual luck today? <sighs> well, I'm definitely not opening the rest of those boxes because I thought there's no point. So, can we still get the collector rare inside a box or nah? Guess we're about to find out because these are one in 12 boxes. Let's see, we got Thunder Speed Summon again. I'm basically, I'm, I'm basically done now. I could open those last two boxes, but I'm almost 100% sure they'll have nothing in them. Because I, I assume, and this, this I might be wrong because this is what happened with 10,000 Dragon. I opened 10,000 Dragon, I figured the rest of the boxes had nothing, and then I had Utopian as well. But I'm assuming that we're going to get nothing else inside these batches. Because, yeah, oh, I'm, <laughs> Ruxin's going to be mad at me. I literally messaged Ruxin the second I uh, pulled Raw, and he was like, how are you so lucky? And I'm like, and we get Lightning Storm? Are you kidding me? Bruh. What a... I don't understand. I should open my Pokemon packs now, too. Because I, I, my luck today was just ridiculous. We got Joker's Wild. I have some uh my... Uh, my uh, Shadowless packs. My guaranteed Shadowless packs. Heavies from a while back that I've never opened. And I should honestly open them now. Because if my luck is on fire today... Granted, it'll be weird because it's not like I can manifest a card to change on the inside and be, you know, a Charizard. But maybe it's been a Charizard this whole time, and now since my luck is on fire, it's telling me to open those finally. Scrap Twin Dragon. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited about this. I told C-Reacts if he opens, uh, whatchamacallit, and pulls Slifer, we'll trade Slifer for a Raw, because he's a, he's a Raw uh, fanboy. Now, I guess if he pulls Obelisk, I'll trade him Raw for Obelisk. One thing I love about about cards is the trading aspect of it, you know. And as I'm growing up, like I never sell my cards. I have sold them a couple times. This looks beautiful. What the oh, this is the same card from earlier. Um, I have sold my cards a handful of times, but it's very very rare. Usually, what I do is I'll sell stuff off like in forms of bulk, but like my collection, I almost never get rid of. But something I like doing is trading. Like I was talking earlier to uh, to Charizard King, who's been trying to basically buy my. My PSA 10 Dark Magician of Chaos, and I I really don't want to part ways with it. But now, like now we're talking about the idea of trading. I'm like, well, you know what? That might be kind of fun. Just drop this. Uh, so I might I might actually trade it. I might I might finally get rid of it. We'll see what happens. Okay, the next pack. Let's see if we can get a collector rare if it's possible. I feel like it's not possible because that'll be a stack box. Getting a collector rare and a God card. That's kind of crazy. Next one, Just let it out. Got um, Court of Cards. Okay, I'm just happy I'm done. <laughs> I'm just happy I ain't got to worry about this anymore. 
And something else I like is the quality control with these god cards look fantastic. That cipher looks great. Then we got Arcana, Triumph, Joker, Ultra Rare. We'll put you in the back over here. All right, so let's see, let's test my theory. Let's test my theory. We should get no more Ultras, because I think the the Slifer technically counts as the uh, it's like the Ultra Rare hit, even though it's the Millennium Rarity, what the Rarity actually is. Let's see what we get out of this one. We're almost done. Don't worry. Nothing. Just a magnet. Okay. Man, I'm so excited. <laughs> See, this is what happens. I go so long on opening packs, and I find some opening packs, and I get the hit that I wanted, the chase card, and I'm just super excited about this, and I want to do... Oh, we do get it! We do get it! We do get it! We do get it! Are you kidding me? So you can get a... Oh, you can get a collector rare. This is the greatest box of all time. This is the greatest box of all time. Like, th this box... Is this is like the, by far the best box I could have potentially gotten? Then we got another ultra. Wait, why am I getting so many ultras? I'm com I'm, I'm confused. Can somebody answer? Can someone give me information? I thought it's only two ultras per box. Or am I stupid? Huh? Imagine this is an air box and I get raw and obelisk now too. How wild that would be. I'm trying to manifest that right now. But that doesn't make s So we got lightning storm. We got the arcana. Oh, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I'm dumb. I, I forgot that this is the second box I'm opening. Duh. Okay, so the two ultras I got were, were three. It is three per box. That's what it is. It's three per box. So we got uh, Utopic Draco Future as an Ultra. Finally, joke as well. So we got Utopic Future as one Ultra. The second one being Arcana, Lightning Storm, and then this is a Collector Rare. So it looks like if you get a Collector Rare or one of the God Cards, it's like a bonus card to the box, okay? Wow, I'm excited. <laughs> Welcome back to card openings, Rhyme. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your favorite God Card down below. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.